This is a quick little uh, video on how I figured out how to get the, the Adreno talking to sensor monkey. First of all, what I have to, I've connected all the uh, pins uh, to the uh, moisture prong, and now what I what I did was I have a sketch and that I so I can open up the sketch and I call it sensor monkey bites the sensor monkey and uh, it's written like so and as you can see here it's I got this from uh, somewhere online the key thing is that it grabs the highest values and the lowest values and sends those to the serial port so you don't get it, it cuts down the range to exclu exclusively from 1032 to 0 and so um, that's what's going to be sent to the Arduino so I'm going to process that right now Okay, and uh, it's compiling the sketch sending it to the Arduino which is hooked up to the sensor monkey and so now it says it's there so when you click here the, the serial monitor it's showing you what's going on and there's this very strange bunch of symbols coming across that's alright those will translate to actual values when we get into sensor monkey but it just shows you that it's alive and well so now what the most important part is to do is to shut down this compiler because that's then will free up COM8 for access by uh, Bloom so I shut that down it's still reading but it's not the actual sketch part program is not uh, pointing to the COM8 anymore now I go and find Bloom and uh, run Bloom and that's the uh, converting serial port data to an I I forget it's the to a port so what I do in here is I'm going to call the TC uh, uh, TCP port I'm going to call it 20,000 just a random number they told me between I forget uh, I think it's negative 10,000 to 40,000 anyways 20,000 COM8 is the port and they said the polling frequency has to be reasonably close to your um, the amount of times it's picking up data so between 10 and 50 Hertz and the baud rate must stay at 9600 the rest of the things we don't touch so you just say start and now it's just waiting for it to connect and then you minimize that and then what you do is you go I'm going to Firefox and I'm going to I started sensor monkey and under sensor monkey using my Facebook page I went to the control panel under sensor monkey and I end up at this page and then I add a sensor so I'm just going to call it sensor 81 and by default it says port 80 so you have to press the configure button which it may do anyways automatically press in 20,000 type in I mean make sure you change this so that the integer readings are 16 bits not 18 variable and this gives you here you want to change the name I'm going to call it here moisture underscore prong okay so that that's the name that appears on the thing so then when you connect you hope to see a check mark here when you, when you connect and mine doesn't connect right now so I have to go back and make sure the Arduino is off always a big deal here okay so I have the Arduino off I guess I had to shut all the things off and try again and now it connects so that's the trick is make sure that Arduino the IDE is shut off now you can go to stream and here's the fun part go to public and then choose um, make sure you choose the moisture while well, it's defaults to that anyways and now what you're seeing is the moistures uh, from the prong so if I remove the moisture from the prong you can see how it jumps to 1000 to 23 now I'm going to squeeze uh, some uh, a wet Kleenex against the prongs and it's taking a reading every fourth of a second
and you can see here how the data is being built. Now I'm going to let go a little bit of the moisture so that the moisture goes up a bit. And so anyways, this is as far as I've got. My next challenge is trying to get this information to the web, which is where you publish it. So if I publish it right now, you see I get it. And now I'm streaming data to the public. And that's where I'm uh, trying to now connect this data to the actual uh, so that we can watch it anywhere we want in the world. But anyways, it gives you an idea how the moisture prong hooked up to uh, analog 5 pin is uh, generating moisture information which is currently streaming online. That's all I've got so far and you can see the range. It's kind of fun, just little things that can amuse us. Alright, that's the end.